activist. A person who campaigns to bring about political or social change. What does the word activist mean to you? Give sacrificial. Um, stand, standing up for what you truly believe in, standing up for the rights of people, to sacrifice, to giving of yourself. I think that that means like you're someone who advocates for any rights that a country needs. To me, activism is acknowledging there is a problem and recognizing that there is also a solution possible. Finding people who will join you in that mission and moving forward without hesitation, unrelenting pursuit of change. Activism to me is finding an issue that matters to you in your community and pursuing it no matter the consequence or the things that the people will say because you're pursuing an issue. Activism to me is speaking up for something that you know isn't right and not just sitting on the sidelines. I think it's really important for young people to uh, take part in activism and to make sure that they're not just sitting idly by and letting the world pass them by when they can really institute change in the world. Dr. Martin Luther King Jr. has done many inspirational things to fight for our society today. MLK was a well-known civil rights leader and activist who had a great deal of influence on American society. His belief in nonviolent protests helped set the tone for the movement. He has influenced many bright minds like Cesar Chavez. Chavez dedicated his life to improving the treatment, pay, and working conditions for Mexican and Filipino farm workers. Another person he inspired is Jomo Kenyatta, who is a Kenyan statesman and the dominant figure in the development of African nationalism in the East Africa. His long career in public life made him the undisputed leader of African people of Kenya in their struggle for independence. I think the way that MLK influenced our society is he kind of jump-started the equality movement. He was one of the biggest leaders, um, you know, to help the black community. And even though they were threatened daily, he didn't give up until he felt that they were somewhat okay. I think MLK's impact in society today uh, really brought the um, issue of equality to the table and, and during a time where equality issues were really swept under the rug he brought that activism to the foreground and allowed young people to rally behind a cause that they really believed in to fix some social change. His, his influence has influenced um, our generation of today but honestly if I think he was still around I don't think he would be happy with what, it, what he would have been seeing. Um, he, go, he gave to me, in my opinion, the ultimate sacrifice, and that was his life. Um, we still celebrate him today, but the work is still far from finished. We still have a lot to do for the justice, justice and the rights uh, of all people. And um, help people be like, be friends. So like, you see how like, I have like black and white friends and Mexican friends, and it just basically helps you learn to like, not judge someone by how they look, but how their like personality is and how they act and... Well, with that being said, not only people in the past have been influenced, but also people in the present, such as the Sacramento Kings, who are strong supporters of the Stephon Clark protest. These tragedies have to stop. There must be accountability. Black, white, brown. We are one. We are one. One. We will not stick to sports. We will not shut up and dribble. This is bigger than basketball. Change can be uncomfortable. Change is necessary. We need to talk. We need to act. We matter. We must unite. Say his name. Stephon Clark. Stephon Clark. We must unite. When Ashton Kutcher isn't entertaining audiences, he's fighting against child sex trafficking. Thornton is a nonprofit organization built by Ashton Kutcher and Demi Moore that works with sharp minds, government, and law enforcement. The nonprofit finds technology to defend children from sexual abuse. My day job is as the chairman and the co-founder of Thorn. We build software to fight human trafficking and the sexual exploitation of children. And that's our core mission. My other day job is that of the father of two, a two-month-old and a two-year-old. And as part of that job that I take very seriously, I believe that it is my effort to defend their right to pursue happiness and to ensure a society and government that defends it as well. Not only people who are sports stars, 
actors and actresses speak out about our social justice system today. But rapper Kendrick Lamar has some influential words about this issue. It says, the caterpillar is a prisoner to the streets that conceived it. Its only job is to eat or consume everything around it in order to protect itself from this mad city. While consuming this environment, the caterpillar begins to notice ways to survive. One thing it notices is how much the world shuns him, but praises the butterfly. The butterfly represents the talent, the thoughtfulness, and the beauty within the caterpillar. But having a harsh outlook on life, the caterpillar sees the butterfly as weak and figures out a way to pimp it to his own benefits. Already surrounded by this mad city, the caterpillar goes to work on the cocoon which institutionalizes him. He can no longer see past his own thoughts. He's trapped. While trapped inside these walls, certain ideas take root, such as going home and bringing back new concepts to this mad city. The result? Wings begin to emerge, breaking the cycle of feeling stagnant. Finally free, the butterfly sheds light on situations that the caterpillar never considered, ending the internal struggle. Although the butterfly and caterpillar are completely different, they are one and the same. What's your perspective on that? Pop. 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 Not only was MLK a dreamer, but he was an activist and amazing community leader. He was an inspirational figure to the United States, even brought us here on this lovely Monday morning. So we'll leave you with this speech. I've been on the mountaintop and have an amazing march. Like anybody, I would like to live a long life. Longevity has its place. But I'm not concerned about that now. I just want to do God's will. And he's allowed me to go up to the mountain. And I've looked over. And I've seen the promised land. I may not get there with you. But I want you to know the night that we as a people will get to the promised land. So I'm happy tonight. I'm not worried about anything. I'm not fearing any man. Mine eyes have seen the glory of the 